I'm going to be using a product today that's called Grunge. This is a product that Michael Volley makes, and you can buy it at coastairbrush.com. It's a really cool product. I, he showed me the other day when we were at an airbrush bash on how he does it. I'm going to show you. And like I say, check out his work at uh, killerpaints.com. He does some awesome work. This is just a little clip that I'm doing and uh, kind of promoting what he does because this is an awesome product. So shake it up. I want it to kind of go backwards. I want it to splatter like that. So you squirt it and then I'm going to spray red over it. Taking a dry towel and wiping it back off. Now I'm going to do it again. And I'll let that dry up just a hair, and then I'm going to spray red on it. So when you spray the red, I'm just going to really concentrate on the front and let it blend back. Because these racing colors are red, black, and white, so that's why I'm really concentrating on the red. Get another angle so you guys can see a little better. We'll do it one more time. See how cool that looks. Every place that it lands and I spray around it, you'll see the black underneath. So this time, I'm gonna spray more of the red so I can actually get some of the black with color. And then just take your airbrush and spray it again. Might let it dry up just a little more because I'm kind of moving it, but it really depends on what you want it to look like. I want red really heavy in the front. This time we're going to spray a little block around it. See how I'm moving it? I want that to do it. I'm actually blowing holes through it. Let it dry up. You don't want to smear your paint. See how it's still wet? We'll let that dry just a second. Now that was the big tip that we used. I'm going to change it up now and put the small tip on it and do one more light layer across it. And then go back with the red. Leave it right there.
awesome about this is you can actually mask on it also. I'm going to mask a bunch of ripped open sheet metal. It doesn't affect the surface whatsoever. Yeah, it's messy. But it's really cool. I'm going to put a respirator on and I'm going to turn the fan on, which I didn't do. There's a couple areas in here that I don't like, so this is the part where I'm masking off my ripped open sheet metal. I'll make sure that I get a piece across this because it dripped right there and I don't like that look. But we'll just start taping it out. It's done with my new product called uh, Killer Grunge Effects from Archer. Um, it's supposed to replicate like pitted metal or you know just metal that's been grunged up. You can do all kinds of things. 